Hello, ho, ho. Hello. Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. Christmas can sometimes be a sad time. I think we should remember that. Um, I had a very sad Christmas last year. Uh, my flatmate moved out. She hates it when I call her that, but it stops me crying when people ask how I am. <laughs> Just a fun song. A fun song there. It sounds less sad if you put it in a song. One of my many coping mechanisms. Uh, another coping mechanism, frequent use of the phrase that'll show her out loud around the house when I do stuff that used to annoy her. <laughs> Such as watching traffic cops for five hours or turning the heating off when I go abroad. I live alone now. I live alone in grief mansions. That's what I call my house now, grief mansions. <laughs> the great thing about the timing of it all is when I put the wreath on the front door, the neighbours thought it was for Christmas and not a memorial to everything I held dear. <laughs> yeah, grief mansions is what I call it. Sometimes I call it that. Sometimes, sometimes I call it the Museum of Pain. Because <laughs> all the stuff's still there. Trinkets, treasures, ornaments. Books, mugs, clothes, each one a reminder of countless cherished memories that now turn painful, and that pain beats at the centre of my soul like a diseased bird with terrible wings. <laughs> but I can shit with the door open! Am I wrong? I can shit with the door open, with a little bit less of that. A little bit less of the old don't shit with the door open routine. As my tears fall down, onto my penis <laughs> in such quantities that they then fall from my penis as if my penis itself were crying onto shit as it gathers below. <laughs> but with a little bit less of that. A little bit less of the old GBH of the don't shit with the door open routine as my tears fall from my penis onto shit. <laughs> I've made a list of pros and cons, because I've been spending a lot of time in brothels and prisons. <laughs> made a list of pros and cons, always good, give you a bit of balance, give you a bit of balance. Con, complete loss of all feelings of hope and possibility. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't sound very good, does it? It doesn't sound much fun, does it? Pro, increased plug socket access. <laughs> Bam. One or I, I say increased, uh, it's actually total plug socket access. Um, I've got 32 plug sockets in my house. Each and every one of them is now under my sole domain. <laughs> uh, con, all experiences that formed the basis of my happiness and sense of self-worth are now destroyed by grief. <laughs> downer! <laughs> a bit of a downer, isn't it? <laughs> Pro, less recycling. Yeah. <laughs> I can fit it all in the green box now. It's remarkable when you take into account just how much I'm drinking. <laughs> oh, John, you're meant to heat mulled wine. All right, Your Highness, hand me the bottle and leave. <laughs> uh, con, con, I'm gonna lose me else. <laughs> bit of fun, bit of fun, bit of fun. <laughs> Pro, 25% off council tax. <laughs> I was on that like a ferret. <laughs> Dialing as the door slammed. <laughs> uh, and that's us fresh out of cons. The rest are just pros, guys. Uh, yeah. Increased freezer space, all four drawers. <laughs> Cheaper gas and electric. Reduced wear and tear on fixtures and fittings. <laughs> and, and when I say reduced, I don't mean by half, because I was only ever responsible for about 10% of scuffs and spills. So, we're looking at a net reduction of 90% in real terms. <laughs> uh, this is my favourite one, my favourite one. Ultimate control over where the iPhone charger cable is and why it is there. <laughs> there was a time it would take hours to answer the questions, where is the iPhone charger cable and why is it there? <laughs> Not anymore. Plugged in next to the bed, most convenient place to have it. <laughs> Simple. Is it... Is it unplugged in the bathroom? No, no, it's not. It'd be a ludicrous place to keep it, there's no plug socket in the bathroom. <laughs> 
Is it? Is it in the front pocket of a rucksack you no longer use? <laughs> That'll be the last place you look. That'll be very frustrating. Is it? Is it plugged in on a train we have alighted from? <laughs> no, no. It's plugged in next to the bed, because that's the most convenient place to have it. <laughs> Happy Christmas!